Well, good day, everyone. Welcome back to another video. If you've been following along our channel for a little bit, you would have seen that we've just done a couple of huge episodes covering everything you need to know about off-grid power systems, from what you need, calculating your power needs, figuring out how you're going to travel to make sure that you get a system that suits your needs. In all those videos, we've been mainly focusing on fixed power systems, but in this one, I want to touch on portable power systems. Portable power systems now are becoming more and more popular. There's a few really big advantages that I can see. There's also a few downsides. We're gonna be covering off all that and more in this video. What I like about them, what I don't, uh, who I think they would suit, and as well as doing a little bit of a review on this little bad boy behind me, this is the Blue Eddy EB3A. Uh, I didn't name it, I don't know what that means, I'm sure it means something to someone, but this is a cool little power pack, an all-in-one power pack, and these type of power packs are starting to become, as I said, more and more popular. I've just come back from the Melbourne Caravan and Camping Show, and there's a few new ones coming out onto the market as well, but let's take dive in and see what I like about these power systems, who I think they suit, and uh, whether you should go out and buy yourself one. Okay, so kicking things off, what do I mean when I'm talking about portable systems? Well, portable, I mostly am talking about just a, an all-in-one solution, basically, that can be removed from your setup, moved between setups and everything that doesn't require any sort of wiring or permanent mounting into your vehicle or into your caravan or camper trailer or whatever it is that you might be traveling in. It's basically just a pick-up-and-move unit that you can take anywhere. You can take it with you. Uh, you can go and set it up in a tent or something like that with, to run your fridge or charge your devices or anything like that. So it's a portable system that you can literally just pick up and move, not something that is directly wired into the vehicle. Okay, so as I said, we have been testing out this little Blue Eddy EB3A for the last couple of months. Full disclosure here, I didn't pay for this. Uh, Blue Eddy did send it to me. I was looking through and looking at what these little power packs were and how well they worked, and I was curious to test one out, and they were more than happy to send me one for free. They are not, however, paying me to say anything good about it, paying me to do this review or do this video, uh, but I did just want to have full disclosure so that you can decide whether you think there's any bias in this video or not. So this unit here, is it's a compact little unit that packs quite a punch. What's inside this unit? And there's a variety of sizes. This is the smallest one that Blue Eddy do. But, but this little one here, it's a ba lithium battery with a DC-DC charger, with an AC charger, and a solar MPPT regulator built into it, as well as an inverter to give you 240 volt power. So there's quite a bit of gear jammed into this little pack. They're pretty impressive. Now the battery in this one isn't very big. It's only, it's, they measure all the battery sizes in watt hours. So if you've watched uh, the first one of our off-grid power systems videos, you would know that to convert watts into 12 volt, we just divide that by the voltage. So 260 watt hours works out to be a little over 22 amps. So a pretty small battery as far as batteries go, but it, it's a really handy little unit. The advantage of it being a small battery is it's a really small unit. I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, where you can go and check out the Blue Eddy website and all the specs and all the details are on there if you want to check out the dimensions and just see how just small this thing is. But it only weighs a few kilos. It's really, really lightweight. It's pretty easy. To, it's really easy to carry around. It's got this great little fold-up handle. I'm, if you can't tell, I absolutely love this little unit. So let's have a look at what sort of power this thing can put out. So on top of it to start with is a wireless charger. If you can see that up there. So if you've got a phone that can do wireless charging, you can sit that straight on top of it and you've got a little 15 watt charger there for it you've obviously also got a single uh, cigarette lighter output there's two 10 amp 12 volt dc outputs as well as two usb normal usb a sort of outputs uh, as well as a usb c output if you've got a usb c device then when it comes to charging it you can put in an unregulated solar panel into straight into this so as i said it's got an mppt solar regulator inside the unit so an unregulated unre solar panel or solar blanket you can plug that straight in there and you can also charge it off 240 volt. It comes with a 240 volt lead, so you can charge it from there. And then through that same D, uh, DC input, you can charge it from the cigarette lighter in your car or caravan uh, to charge it while you're driving. It also has a single 240 volt outlet. As I said, it's got a built-in inverter inside this, so a 600 watt inverter, reasonable size inverter uh, to run that single 240 volt outlet. And then up there, we've got a light as well. I'm not sure how useful the light is, but it's pretty bloody bright this light um if i turn that on uh and it does strobe and flashing and all those sort of drawing attention type things which could be handy if you want to take it out on a boat or something like that and you do get into an emergency having an emergency light could be handy i suppose but not something i can see us using very often 
One of the things we've really liked about this unit in particular is how good the display is. Uh, although it's hard to get footage of because it gives off a lot of glare and we get the flicker on there. I've just got some B-roll shots here of the display to try and give you an idea, but it'll show you the watts coming in from whatever charging device you're using, the watts coming out from whatever appliances or devices you might have plugged in. And then it gives you a calculation or constantly updated calculation for how long it is until the EB3A is either fully charged or fully discharged. So you can get an idea from whatever you're running off it, how long it is likely to last. It also gives you a constant state of charge. It can tell you on there if the UPS function is working, it'll tell you if the AC is on and things like that. The display has really just helped to make it super simple to use and easy to calculate how much power you're using and things like that. All in all, it's been a great little unit. The only real downsides we can come up with is one of them is that it's only got the single 240 volt outlet. Now, some of their larger units do have multiple 240 volt, volt outlets. For us, the main thing we've been using this for is to charge our laptops. It, by using this rather than running the big inverter in our caravan, it saves us a heap of power because the idle charge or the idle consumption of this little inverter is far lower than that big inverter in our caravan. It also means that I don't have to be stuck to the to working from the caravan, I can take this with me and go and work off the laptop wherever I need to. And this will give the laptop a fair bit of charge for a fair bit of time. So it, it's really allowed me to go and be a bit more mobile with that. And then obviously if you couple it with a portable solar panel or something like that, then you can uh, really extend that time that you can work away potentially indefinitely from this little battery pack. One thing I should note there is that if you do want to be able to charge the EB3A from your cigarette lighter socket in your car or in your caravan or camper trailer, you will need to buy the DC charging cigarette lighter charger cord separately. Uh, that doesn't come with the unit, so make sure you add that in if that's something you want to be able to do. That's probably one of my other criticisms of the unit is just the limited charging cords that it comes with. Uh, it doesn't come with the DC charging cord. I really think that should be included, uh, but it does come with your AC charger to charge it up off your 240 volt now, obviously, you can charge your phones and everything like that off it, phones, iPads, uh, any devices like that will charge multiple times off it. Really good for charging camera gear as well, particularly for us because we don't have a dual battery system in the car. So we're able to charge up that cameras and things like that without having the car running. Now, if you are wondering the types of devices that you can run off that 600 watt inverter, or if you want to find out how long the battery is going to last inside the little blue eddy to charge the different things that you might want to charge or the different devices you might want to run, jump over onto the blue eddy website using that link down below. And they've done a really good job of explaining exactly what the little unit will run. And it gives you some examples of different things that you can run off it and how long the battery will last. If you're doing that, for example, how many times can you charge your phone before it's flat? How many times can you charge your iPad? Things like that. These days, CPAP machines are becoming really common. A lot of people need them and it's a big thing to be able to run your CPAP machine uh, off grid. Again, saving running that big inverter, same as running our laptops. Rather than running that big inverter in your caravan or in your setup, you can run it off the Blue Eddy. I think it'll last from memory. Jump on the website, like I said, and check it out, but I think it's about eight or nine hours you can run your CPAP machine for. Uh, another thing that's becoming more and more common with travelers these days is your Starlink system. So your Starlink again needs 240 volt power, but it has fairly low current draw. That will easily run off the 600 watt inverter that's in the Blue Eddy. So again, another good option to save you having to run your larger inverter that you might have in your caravan or uh, in your camper trailer setup. I think any of these portable power solutions are really good obviously for campers, particularly if you're a tent based camper or you're not a vehicle based camper because you're not going to have that 12 volt supply. Or if you're like us and you just don't want to go to the expense of installing a dual battery system, being able to have something portable like this is, is perfect really it's really really handy uh, the other thing i can see it for is what is tradies when i was working in the trade uh, we'd often go to job sites that didn't have any power connected so being able to have a portable power so solution like this would be really great now you wouldn't be able to run many big power tools from it but being able to charge your power tool batteries from it would be really really handy these days most power tools uh, are battery powered and have a battery powered option. So often what we were running on a job site was just our battery chargers. So to be able, you'd easily be able to run those and get a couple of charges out of them, out of this little unit. This unit may also really suit you if you are a fisho and you go, like to go out in your tinny and you need a power solution for in your tinny to be able to charge up your phone and your devices or maybe to run your fish finder or something like that and you've only got a small boat and it doesn't have its own battery system. This little portable unit could be a really good solution for that as well. The other person I can see this being really handy for is if you work from home. 
this little unit will actually run as an, a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply. So if you're working from home on your laptop and things like that, or from a computer that you need to make sure you've got good power all the time. And if your home power supply isn't that reliable, you can plug this into the wall, plug your laptop or your computer into the, into the Blue Eddy and it will give you a UPS system. So basically if you lose power for whatever reason, the Blue Eddy will take over and keep your computer running. So that at least you've got time to get everything saved and shut your computer down properly without losing power. So really handy for that. Now the big pros to having any sort of portable system and this one included is obviously the ease of installation. You literally buy it and put it in the car. There's no installation costs. Uh, the other thing is that it's all pre-wired, all wired properly. You know that it's all gonna work together. It's all spec together. So there's gonna be no issues or a lot fewer issues uh, going forward. As I said, we've only had this a couple of months so I can't really speak into its longevity, but I mean, so far so good. It hasn't shown any signs of uh, letting us down. I think they're a pretty good value option as well, these portable packs. They're a lot cheaper than uh, getting someone obviously to install a system into your car. Uh, and as I said, you can buy different sizes of them. This little one retails, I think for about 600 bucks or something like that. They're on special at the moment. I'll leave, as I said, that link in the description below. Another great advantage to them is obviously their portability. So you can take them from vehicle to vehicle. You're not limited to using them in just the one vehicle. So if you've got one vehicle for work, for example, and you camp on the weekends out of a different vehicle, you can move this power pack between them. It's easier to bring it home and charge it up at home, leave it on charge while you go off and do whatever you need to do as well. Downside to portable systems that I can see, the cons are probably gonna be, one, that it's it's security. It can be stolen, obviously. It can be pinched a lot more easily than an inbuilt system. So that's something you're gonna to have to take into consideration and be careful about. The other one is that it's gonna take up luggage space or storage space in your vehicle or however you're transporting it. So that's something to keep in mind if you've got limited storage space. Uh, although these are pretty compact and pretty easy to store, it is obviously gonna eat into that storage space. Whereas obviously a dual battery system or something like that in a vehicle can often be installed under the bonnet or out of the way where it's not taking up that valuable storage space. The only other downside really to these portable systems is that when you upgrade them, as in when you go to a bigger system, you sort of have to go bigger everything. You can't just sort of say, I want a bigger battery, but I don't necessarily need a bigger inverter or something like that. So they're a little bit less flexible, I guess, when it comes to upgrading. But I think the uh, advantages of them outweigh that in that it's just so much more convenient and you know it's all pre-wired and wired well. I can really see in them being a useful addition to a lot of people's setups. I guess the big question is, would I buy one? Uh, yeah, I think I definitely would. I'd probably buy, as I said, the next size up. I think this one's a little bit small for our needs, but I think if you weren't running multiple laptops or didn't have as much camera gear as us to charge, then I really think this little EB3A would be the perfect size. And it's got that advantage that it's compact. I mean, it sits at the foot of uh, James, uh, sorry, it sits at James's feet behind the driver's seat, just on the floor in the back of the car. And we just plug it in there to the 12 volt socket and keep it charged up all the time. So it's ready to go whenever we need it. So I think all in all, yeah, it's a really good unit. And I think portable systems in general, particularly when you couple them with a portable solar blanket or solar panel, are absolutely spot on. We've been using the Blue Eddy 200 watt blanket recently as well. You might've seen that in some of our videos. We've just started testing that one out with this little unit as well. And it's been great. Out of a 200 watt blanket, I'm regularly getting up to 180 watts of output of that in good solar conditions, which is exceptional uh, as far as solar input goes, especially when you compare it to those glass panels that are laying flat on our roof of our caravan. So that's been a really handy addition. I just picked up the other day as well, an Anderson plug connection for that solar panel. So we can now plug it into the caravan as well and run it as an extra panel for the van, which is going to change the game for us. Hopefully we're really looking forward to testing out having that extra 200 watts available. Let me know what you think. Uh, portable solar and portable battery solutions like this all-in-one EB3A, do you think they're worthwhile? Do you, do you see the need for them? Would you use one? Would you buy one? Let me know what you think. Uh, really appreciate all your comments. I love all your feedback. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it, as I said. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you want to give me a little bit of love, I don't mind at all. Cheers, guys.